What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to my next episode of my M of my Napoleon Total War 3 Let's Play as the Swedish Empire. So to pick up what we left off, we are attacking the city of Rome, which if we capture it, that will be the complete um, securing of the entire Italian peninsula. So let's take them out. They very, very kindly marched an army east to southeast towards Naples. Sorry if you can hear that strange audio. Okay. Yes, they marched an army away from the city, which meant that it will be significantly easier for us to take the city because we don't have to worry about a full stack of reinforcements coming Remember in. That the gold? Um, okay. So my 12s can just continue plinking from a distance. My 6s are going to push up, as are my howitzers. Ultimately, just form a, a good line. Cavalry and light infantry. Cavalry and light cavalry on the flanks. General in the centre. Get cracking. So my howitzers probably want to go to about here. Just let my gunners work. My infantry line push up. My sixes can maybe go over onto the right to support the. Tw oh no, maybe not. Not quite that aggressive. Well, if they do, they're going to have to run across. Can't really fit them here. One last shot away. So my general. Your general has been killed. What? This is a black day. No, Finn. <laughs> no, Finn. No, <laughs> my first casualty is my general getting sniped off his horse. Ridiculous. Um, but yes, we've got our twelve pounders. Actually, you guys are probably gonna deploy like so. So I want my 12s to have a clear line of fire. But yeah, fundamentally, what actually does the heavy lifting at trying to get into the fort? The howitzers. Because howitzers do about 5% about damage a shot compared to my 12s do about half a percent. It's a bit silly. I get my infantry up in front of my howitzers just to provide some protection. They're not moving out of the fort, so we can just speed up time. Okay, you guys and Limber. Keep speeding up time. We are gonna get some damage from the walls. This is my general killed from a shot from one single shot. But yeah, get my guys to attack the wall. I'm not sure where the howitzers are going. There we go. Yeah. Howitzers do good stuff. I might get my howitzers to work on this side. Hello, cavalry. And then my sixes. Which I probably don't have a horse guard unit more like here. Who did I? Who else was I dragging? You guys. Try get my. Get my heart just to focus on that section of the wall. You guys focus on that section. Barrage. My six is unlimber, and they too will begin barraging. And so they are going to try and push us on the flank. Keep an eye on them. A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Haven't done anything yet. Six pounders just don't do anything. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, my howitzers can. If my howitzers can do most of the damage over here, then I can redirect my gunfire and try and knock out both of these sections at the same time, and that would leave all of these guys trapped. I mean, it's playing on slightly f improved speed. Aha, there they are. Just form a square, because then that cavalry are dragoni. With their curly wigs. Oh, that guy got bucked off. Oh, God. Down you go. Another unit, a couple of units actually coming out now. Just deploy them all into square. They're so desperate to attack me, it's going to be their undoing. What are you doing, you madman? Oh god. Just killed that cavalryman. Still coming though. So there goes that Cavalier Dragoni regiment. Then there's. I'm sure there was someone else coming out of the fort. Experiencing a lot of our own counterfire. These guys look pretty good. Paid my state's grenadiers. Granatieri. Oh, a bunch of men died there. Yeah, that would be the the ideal. Is if I can destroy. If I can trap all those men up in the wall, that would be great. Okay, there we go. That cavalry unit did come back. But let's speed up time a little bit. Because what I want to do is when this wall gets to about 90-ish percent, switch the howitzers to attack over here, then have my guns focus on this bit. Because by the time things even up, You guys might not even be able to hit it. Doesn't matter though, it's about to be destroyed anyway. Just make one how it's a shoot at that section. And these guys, while well, you can. Barrage! Both of you, hit that section. Now if they try and climb off the walls, if we hit them with with artillery, apparently, they die. And the cavalry are going down. Again. Even the 43rd Regiment are firing some shots off angle. More cavalry charges. Okay, let's test this out. So these guys are running off the wall. Oh, there they go. See ya, Grenadiers. It's nice knowing ya. I mean, these guys are not gonna we're not gonna get them. Well I can dream, damn it. Ok, 
here, right. Drop these two units into squares, because it looks like we got a bit of a cavalry charge. They're still going after the same units, the 44th. Let's see how well the first guy does. He's very tired. He's doing the old trot towards the enemy strategy. Fortunately, these guys can't aim for Toffee. He's going through the middle, eh? What a hero! God, oh, someone just shoots him off his horse. That's what I want to see. Oh, he just got jabbed off. General staff out here as well. Oh, look at all those dead Italians. So many dead Italians. So. When this last cavalry unit is down... Get up here and secure ahead of the breaches. You men are going to push the left with cavalry support. My general can't do anything because he's dead. We're not going to push anything on the right. We're going to act as a army in being. Just get them to attack this section of the wall here. At the very least, it does. It will prevent them from using all their artillery against us so easily. We're actually gaining on them, walking on foot. Ooh, if you guys can hit that section of the wall that'd be perfect barrage general's body got scampered back inside Good stuff. We might be knocking out both of those units. Don't want to send three up on the walls here to get a good firing position. We'll secure the gate. Then I'll push in through the centre here. Yeah, we're getting a few kills. Guys. Yeah, you guys just attack ground. Just lob shells in the back of this Fantoria de Linea. I mean, in theory, could run in earlier than we thought, but ultimately, they'll just whatever whatever troop is holding this open this broken cavalry unit will eventually get through and then that'll be that. My lifeguards, Finska and Inundat. Oh, good hit. I saw a bunch of red there. You shoot your target. your target because now we two more full units of Italian troops wiped out I mean, they do look quite good does anyone else think this is a problem Be 
you men climb there, you men climb there, you men climb there. Oh, you're aiming at the wrong things. You try and aim at the actual infantry themselves. Someone just get blown all the way back there. Is that from probably from an art a, a twelve pounder artillery shell? I would imagine. Ugh. Hey. I didn't even know you could do this. <laughs> How trippy is this? <laughs> this is really weird. I never know you can do this. No, 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 no. Okay, come on. Don't screw around now, how it says. You got a job to do. There we go. Back on form. Because then, when it's, when, once we've knocked these units out, we can then try and attack the wall here. We can try grappling hooks away. This is my lifeguards skating the wall. And my grenadiers. Leave grenadier, grenadier. They don't seem to want to react to us. Yeah, the gunners are limbering up. Ultimately, once I've secured, once I've secured the gate, once I've got troops up on the wall, I'm then going to push my cavalry through this breach, the gates are ours. and then my infantry through the centre. Hey, hello, general. Make ready. The end of him. Form up. Dragoons, get in. All this infantry. Get in. Go on, cavalry, get in here. If we will form square, we got the. I mean, my howitzers is just not, not quite up to snuff. Attack the seven pounders. My lifeguards off the wall because they're now completely up. Get you men off the wall onto one flank. There goes the seven pounders. I mean, they don't see the eye's heart isn't really in it. Apparently, they're just letting me walk in and do what I like. Like they're not in a defensive position, so let's just get my. Okay, if they're going to not do anything while I do this. I mean... Hello? Like you men running in. My lifeguard's getting over here. You men secure the armory. They 
finally twigged. Wait a minute, those people are trying to... <laughs> those people are trying to kill us! So then you men charge into the flank. Get my general's staff, whatever good they'll do. My lifeguard, Jaeger. Push in. Killing a whole bunch of these infantry. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. I don't give a damn. Put doing some good damage to these Regimento de Linea. Got the guys inside the fort, got the guys out here. Sir, our defences are breached and failing. No, that's the good one. Actually, where's my Finska? Finska hold the line. Lifeguard yeah, you go off your pop. You men attack the 12 pounders. Yeah, there we go. My other cavalry is coming through the gate because they've left it open. Go on, lifeguard Jaeger. Get stuck in. This infantry unit can also stuck in. My Finska, just hold the line. You men push up here. That means you guys are surplus to requirements. Get out here and charge. General staff, just charge. May as well. Hey, they're forming squares. No, you don't. Cease the artillery fire. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. I am not interested in their fatigue. We're going to break these squares. charge that last Italian troop but there's going to be a lot of slaughter here at the minute but at what cost at what cost at what cost could have carried on but nah there we go yeah my general is dead we're going to occupy the city Plenish. let's get a new general from the Grenadiers Torben Lundin. Good man. He's ready to rock and roll. Mr. Henriksen. Henriksen pushed down to Taranto. Can you guys leave Palermo yet? Minus three. Not yet. Give it two more turns. Let's bring the Dragoons back. Good. I am going to want sloops surplus in this region. Okay. So Rome is secured. I'm going to cheer them up by destroying the classical university. Let's upgrade the gold mine. Yeah, they'll get rid of their clamour for reform. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I think uh, Austria may end up being our next war target. So I probably want two armies on here to the south. One to attack Zagreb, one to push Vienna from the south. Then we can push Vienna. Well, ultimately, we've got a good amount of troops as it is. Yeah, you come back to Kohlberg. You've dropped off your troops. You can also get into Kohlberg.
position along the border towards the Russians. That's recruitment for you. You're waiting for two units of elite infantry. You need cavalry. Get two life guards and two crests. Yeah, let's get some. Make this one a real heavy artillery unit. So you've got nine slots. You're recruiting seven plus lifeguard Jaeger and oh, nothing. No way, you're already recruiting lifeguard Jaeger. Uh, Svenska Gardet. There we go. Cool. We've got a good number of two, to be honest. We've got armies we can push. Austria. We can push Olmutz from the north from these troops at Breslau. Can you leave Breslau, Mr. Stedink? You can. Good. You can make get ready to... Okay, you're probably going to be needed. You need to get... Well, I want to get you here, actually. So that when we declare war, we can control this crossing here. These two crossings. Prevent them from driving south into Innsbruck, which if they do, this force here will have to redeploy rapidly. But apart from that... These armies are getting ready. For, well, they're probably going to attack Athens, then push up from the south. There's no immediate rush. Everyone else has redeployed. I mean, ultimately, yeah, we're still friendly with Russia, but they're not going to like our territorial expansion. What about Austria? Who are they allied with? Yeah. Oh, no, they're not allied with anyone. It's just Austria. One last army to drop off on Finland. Yeah, see that. What are they doing down there? So there is a Prussian army down there, which will, when we move in, the danger is it will trigger an ambush. So that would be really quite awkward. Yeah, get these, most of these sloops that aren't really doing anything, get them into port. I know I can't cross. Back straight into someone. So wait till you're finished moving, then you guys run around. Good. So then you're going to go down to here. You can recruit, uh, recruit a Kurgan unit. There you go. Kurgan and Vavade. Good. Yes, him. That's what I don't like. Sigmund Linje. Linje. So I might try and get you. Pull you go. Ooh. Cancel move. I've got an army in friendly territory from the east, but then the main thing is we, you have to push and attack all Mutz. While at the same time you're going to push and attack Zagreb, most likely. I could free up one of you guys. There are only four armies to attack. All three, three of them attack Athens and they'll push up. One will head east. The one will head north up towards Belgrade, and then they'll meet up at Bucharest. Cool, yeah, that works. Uh, elsewhere, Mr. Von Doblin, get down to Innsbruck. Okay. Fortifying Olmutz, they know something's up. We probably, probably want to declare war on them sooner rather than later. If we need to deploy more troops into the region, we can. I was kind of hoping that they'd keep scrapping with that Prussian army. So they would do more attrition to the Prussian army, and the Prussians would do more attrition to them. But I don't think that's going to happen.
There's a lot of Russian troops. It's not going to be easy knocking out the Russians. That's why I'd like to try and expand my front in the Balkans as well. Give them something to worry about. Dry dock in Glasgow. Good. Still can't recruit anything other than a sloop. Okay, you guys can probably stand to leave Palermo. Minus one. They'll do that. They'll just complain. You guys can probably stand to leave Naples. Yep. They can both deploy, actually. They've only got one turn till other sloops arrive. See you in deploy against Athens. Which is completely unguarded. Completely unguarded. You, uh, let's upgrade you to a uh, to a, um, a market. May as well go for money. As I'm still yeah, positive thirty eight thousand a turn. It's not bad at all. I'm still recruiting away. Get over to Finland. They're still recruiting, but not so much. Just keep maxing out that recruitment. Can't ever stop. Won't ever stop. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna... Don't call the Russians in. Don't give them opportunity to break faith. Advance forward to secure, to prevent people from driving into Munich and Bavaria from the south. You men cross the river and advance up to the... Vi Can you not... Is this, is this area impassable? Huh. Very well. Don't advance too close to the south. Your job is to hold... If they drive north and attack you, you'll repulse them and that will leave Mr. Ordegaard in position to attack. Good. Then to the south. This force here at Venice. Kick out the ship. <laughs> then Mr. Skaldebrand, who's been here f for an awful long time. And you, good sir, are going to push to this road here to the south of Venice. Kaspar Maria Steinhel, Leopold Danneberg. Let's get our, our spy out up towards Budapest. Okay, yeah, it's going to take time for you guys to be able to redeploy. Actually, no, it isn't. Minus one. They'll complain for a turn and then they'll be fine. Let's get you down to Taranto. Awesome. More ships, more guns, more stuff, more everything. Hit and turn, let my let the AI sort out the movement of those troops in Finland. Ray Russia, we're coming for you. Ooh, uh, uh, we're gonna f fight it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, we're gonna fight it. It's mostly cavalry, and cavalry just suicides right into us. And line infantry skirmishes. Yeah, do it. Come at us, Austria. You fired your shot. And granted, this army might now be a bit knackered for any future operations once this war is once this battle is over it will be well i'll redeploy it to replenish oh do i want to try and secure the hill let's let's get the fins up front how it says deploy back here for immediate fire support 
put up my grenadiers and my and the fins to push with the general. You men secure the right flank. Light infantry secure the left. Let's keep heavy cavalry in the centre, but I'm keen to try and not get cavalry, not have cavalry there, because that will bog them down. I, I, I missed the opportunity. Okay, you're going to have to keep doing what you're doing. Push the light infantry up on their own. Well, they're not on their own. They've got cavalry backing them up. There we go. Fire away. Oh, excellent hit. They only killed one guy with a direct hit. See, I am running to try and secure the high ground. My cavalry's going to get bogged down by their own infantry, though. Oof. Horse, third horse guards, second horse guards. Form square, get my foot Jaegers behind, get my cavalry to withdraw. Go on, Grenadiers, form square. You men withdraw, you men square, you men pike, you men run towards the pike. Commit the light horse. Our men are running, sir. Yeah, it's the Indelta. They got caught out on the right flank, but they're going to get caught. They're going to hit my my formidable array of squares. Well, not you units, because you guys are. Good, you, you made enough space. As did you. Foot Jaeger cease fire. Silly cavalry. Push out my cavalry on the left, because you've got a couple of infantry units that are starting to get a bit frisky. Men are fatigued, sir, and must rest away. You may have to get out of square and form line. Withdraw, you guys get out of square, advance. Get my general over here. Both of you guys get out of square and ban it. Charge the 33rd Regiment of Foot. Don't really have much of a choice. Running, oh, that square finally broke. Fair enough. Countercharge their horse guards with my lights. My militia have got back into the mix. Excellent. Get more infantry up onto the hill. My cavalry should destroy their left. Get 
my 12s up into the line. Okay, no good. They are running. Push on into the fifth light foot. Okay, you guys have to get out of square and try and the men of fatigue regroup with your command. My light dragoons are struggling against their grenadier guards. Push my cavalry up their flank. Lifeguard Jaeger, take the war to the enemy. You men storm. My foot Jaeger are going to attack the 28th regiment. As are my foot Jaeger. My light cavalry are broken on the right flank. So you're a bit exposed. Form a pike square. Because they're coming at you. Format my cavalry. So you men form up to fire against that flank. You men push up to present a new front line. There you go. There goes my light cavalry. They've returned from combat. The 52nd of May. Barrage. General needs to bolster the right flank, which he is doing. How much is unlimber? Because they're going to want to push up. Oh no, actually, that's not bad. The men of fatigue, sir, and must I'm sure they are, but I don't give a damn. You men fall back, keep falling square, forming, forming square, not falling square. Good, the 52nd came back. Walk into the second horse guard, see what damage you can do. Everyone attack the first horse guards. Push the howitzers up to the top of the hill. No, Foot Jaeger, hide in the squares, damn it. Close quarters fire provided by my 12 pounders is turning, helping turn the tide on this flank. The in, in Finska Indelat infantry need to hold against the cuirassier. Cavalry form up, but not charge. Let them charge us. The men of fatigue, sir, and must rest a while. I'm sure they are. Jaeger Company. Bring my light horse back. Push my cavalry up to the centre. You guys, okay, you guys need to form square and run into the protection of it. You men threaten the rear of the Jaeger company. My cavalry. Pizza, 
They hit my line and immediately broke. Form a new line. My 12s limber up. Don't worry, the 41st are going to hold you off. All these horse guard cavalrymen think they know what's up. So there is still an 8th regiment wide. How, so one go there, one go push up. Push up. So you guys advance against that threat there. The men are fatigued, sir. You men risen. hit the light horse. They are fatigued, and when they're in position, they will rest. You jump and jump on the back of the the fourth light horse as well, because you guys are knackered. Withdraw. Twelves to push up like so. more likely to be needed to defend the right flank. My howitzers are up and ready. Police infantry. Exhausted, Jaeger Company, I'll a bayonet charge them and they've come back. Frenza Company. Comes their reinforcements. Limber with canister shot. Got a strong cavalry force, I just don't want to lose it. Not uh, hastily. You're going to run away. Broken the Grenzer Company. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Go on, horse guards, have a go. My right flank I'm feeling pretty good about. I mean, all this infantry is a bit awkward because they're all well they're going to be exhausted when they get here as well which is handy my ammunition state looks good the cavalry is largely in a good position Get into combat with us, I dares you. Blast the unit of militia, Jaeger Company are routing, the general staff is exposed. Horse guard has just been shot down on the way into combat, they didn't even make it.
how it's just to make sure they're engaging targets that are that have yet to come in. But ultimately, we're going to hold and recover some stamina. And I'm going to get my 12 pounders to limber up. Push my light cavalry in to try and get hold of their general staff. But ideally, I'll have my 12s up here firing on this new enemy force. It's a bit of a punt to see if we can get the general staff, but it's worth a go. Keep my cavalry moving. Tired, very tired, very tired. Their infantry are looking upset. Enemy general staff is routing. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. I want to use my infantry to wrap around their flank. More cavalry on the move. Howitzers, barrage! Make sure the howitzers are attacking the larger infantry concentrations. There we go, we've the head of the columns reached us. Now my light horse are gonna go for their guns. You know that, don't you? Yeah. 24th Regiment? Well, that's why my horse guards are going to go after you. Okay, we need to push up a little bit further. My horse guards are hidden. They don't know we're here. We're sneaking. Sneaking up on the 24th Regiment. So you're visible. But let's take... My cavalry, still hidden. Heh, heh, heh. Oh no, no, they're not hidden. Charge! Light horse on the move, you men charge the 26th. I can fold these two units in to engage the centre. You guys need to help against the 24th actually because they are veteran troops so they might chase away my cavalry. Cavalry to the front, cavalry to the rear. Send my light horse to go on the way. Definitely attack them. Watch you guys push on to their guns. Let my horse guards continue to attack the 24th. 
26th Regiment are also wavering. You can probably come over here and help because this, the 11th Light Horse, are probably enough to knock out their guns. Take them out. Yep, yeah, there they go as well. Now my 12 pounders are in position. <laughs> Shuffle backwards a bit. You can see the 11th light horse sweeping in and attacking their guns. Oh! Attack the 6th. Yep, yeah, they've suddenly realised bad things are happening behind them. You men can bayonet it, charge the Jaeger Company, light infantry advance, cavalry reform, my cavalry broke, knocking out the guns. Bayonet charge, we'll see who takes the glory from this field. Ceasefire the artillery. Rally! Inspire! Oh, you can't charge. That won't work. There we go, the 29th Regiment. With a decisive bayonet charge, we've managed to clear out those remaining troops. Now my general moves in to attack once the <laughs> the enemy are routing. Yeah, we lost a good chunk of men, but they lost even more than we did. That's the garrison of Vienna, no less. Yeah, we're going to put Zagreb under siege. That was a great battle. Yeah, we've got a little marker for that. Prussia's going to Prussia. I think the Austrians might be trying to do something a bit sneaky. I just saw an army unit disappear. But yes, we are in a position to start pouring troops into Central Europe. Like I said, it will open up a. F <laughs> yeah, you make sure. I don't mean I don't want to. I don't want to fight it because it will. I'll show you why I don't want to fight it. Because I can, if I if I auto resolve, I do damage to my guys. Whereas I can just go, we'll take the lot, and I can push you guys. Cavalry to push out you from Patras. I don't know what navy it is, but my sloops are going to have a go. Wap wap. Recruit sloop to occupy the port. Now you guys push forward. The garrison itself can move forward and attack this little army. Sorry, I was way too quick. <sighs> okay, right. Yep. So then destroyed. Hey, we can actually not even occupy the city and they still like us. They must have really hated the Ottomans. Push up. Awesome. So we got our first little toehold in the south. Ports are reoccupied. You guys are getting ready to push south. Okay, there's going to be a slight change to the programming. You're going to go for Zagreb. And is Skoldebrand. Put Vienna under sea. Oh god, we can actually take it. So first of all, you're going to go to the north. You're going to come down here. 
probably chase away chase away these remaining stacks and then we will attack Vienna. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of the remaining Austrian forces that we obliterated last episode. Cheers everyone.